So what is pop culture? This is Jim Fletcher's 27th year teaching history at Claremont High School. <laughs> oh, you guys. Like any longtime teacher, he has lessons and materials he relies on every year. Mad Magazine in 1960. But for Fletcher, that includes a 40,000-piece collection of presidential memorabilia. This mini museum grew out of a collection that he started when he was a Claremont High School student in the 1970s. He started using pieces of that collection in his teaching. So they were with Kennedy all the way, except on the same issue, upside down, they were with Richard Nixon. <laughs> so I would bring them into the classroom and use them directly in the, the history education that I was doing. And my students ultimately said to me, Fletch, you should start a museum. And we turned it around and I said, well, why don't we start a museum? So I really did in concert with that group of students. In its first years, Fletcher grew the collection with students during a summer course. They would help research and request donations. Twenty years later, he thinks the pieces still get students fired up. History education with high school students that are bombarded by distractions, it really, it, history needs to come to the table hot and preferably in flames. So it really helps if you have something that you can show them that's 50 years old that they can touch and feel and examine for what it has to offer them. You read through the magazine from the Nixon side, you get Nixon jokes and Nixon cartoons. For senior Jesse Gunderson, pieces like an issue of Mad Magazine from the Kennedy-Nixon race offered him a sense that history is more than dates and names to be memorized. It adds a new layer of depth because otherwise you think of it as it was, you know, it was part of past and it's really important because that was part of their everyday lives and they're getting through their lives just like we are now. People wear these things still. I guess. And Gunderson's classmate Emily Vastola says trying on one of the collection's newest pieces, a dress worn by Eisenhower supporters at a campaign stop, showed her how Americans have changed. People were way more into the elections back then probably than they are now because yeah you don't see anything like that anymore and it's cool that they used to do that and that people were so into the elections and getting, know the, getting to know the presidents like that. It's really awesome. Fletcher says another dress in the corner of the room was probably never worn. It was made for local people to wear during a trip John F. Kennedy was scheduled to make to French-speaking West Africa in early 1964, a few months after his assassination. So by way of greeting, they would be wearing a dress emblazoned with a huge image of the president. And across the bottom, in French, of course, it says, we will never forget Africa. And it's, it's one of my favorite pieces because it's so unusual. Not everything in the collection is so poignant. There are punny campaign buttons, kitschy salt and pepper shakers, and even an antique noisemaker. It would have been for the 1904 campaign when Teddy Roosevelt ran with Mr. Fairbanks. And it's hand-carved out of oak. It... Um, does make a, a good bit of noise in a small room, so let me use it. Fletcher says two to three hundred Claremont students use the collection for classwork each year. When there was more funding for field trips, elementary and middle school students visited the museum too. We start in our teaching of U.S. history at the end of the Civil War. So any of the pre-Civil War presidents aren't really covered in American history in high school, but they are in elementary school and in middle schools. So we've tried to bring in as many students when, when funds would allow as possible into this museum. With little funding for field trips, Fletcher and other teachers are raising money for display cases Claremont students can build in the school's workshops. They plan to build 20 cases that they'll lend to elementary and middle schools filled with some of the memorabilia now tucked away in a storage room. Fletcher hopes sharing the pieces will help students around the district get excited about their history. It tells us who we were and it helps us figure out who we want to be. And after 27 years, those are lessons he is still excited about giving. We could see Kyla Calvert, KPBS News.